Hey guys, uh, I'm not feeling very pretty today, so I won't be on uh, I won't be on video. I just got out of the gym, but I did want to share this with you because I did find a little a uh, little bit of time today. There has been just an amazing amount of comments uh, about 235 60 by nine on almost all my videos. People are uh, almost angry with me that I didn't put a 235 screen in my room and I don't do it in most most of my theaters for customers and stuff like that. And I really want to explain a very simple concept that I feel like is missed based on the comments. Um, not everybody misses it, but it is. So your projector can only zoom out a certain distance, right? So that distance, call that call that constant width. This is my screen. And trust me, if I turn the lights off, you don't see the bars. So we'll go to that at the very end. But um, look, here's the deal. I It's not that I'm telling people not to get a 235 screen, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you that People keep saying all the big blockbusters. I'm like, all right, well, the first one I turned on just to pull one of these up wasn't. So this is the first uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and it is in 235, right? But here's the deal. This is a 144-inch 235 screen, okay? So that means I've maxed out my width for my projector, um, and really that's not true. In my room, I could have gone a little bigger, but my subwoofers, as you can see, literally touch the screen. So I'm not giving up my subs. And um, so that's that's the max size I could go width wise. Now, yes, I could have gone bigger 235 maybe, but I was just putting up with a lot of other things. I, I need to say something very fundamental. I am not making my 235 picture smaller by getting a 16 by nine screen. I am only making my 16 by nine inch or image bigger, that's it. So I don't know where the confusion is there, but the reality, the reality of the situation is most people would kill to have a 144 inch 235 screen. Well, I have that, but I game and I watch TV and sports in here and stuff like that. And my image is much larger when I do that. This is only, uh, this is a 153. So we're going to go over that piece of paper right there in a second. <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of show you guys really what I've been talking about. But this is something that I want to, that I kind of want to uh, go over because this is really crazy to me. And so if I go to the, uh, newest Guardians of the Galaxy, and I hit continue. This is the one of the newest blockbusters, and it's got those Netflix bars on the top and bottom. I don't know what you guys think you're gonna do with that type of format on a 235 screen, but unless you have mad VRs and lenses and all kinds of stuff, yeah, if you have a, a Panamorph lens at $6,000 uh, vertical compression, you can cut off the top and bottom. But look, the way I look at it, I don't want to I don't want to lose that much picture. There's stuff there. I want to see it, you know? So at the end of the day, people keep saying, you know, this is what the director intended. Well, no, it isn't. This is what the director intended, right? So when you go to a commercial theater, and this is a fact, that screen is not 235. So people keep talking about how they, you know, it's the director intended type stuff, and, and it's not. The director intended you to watch it in whatever the director intended it to do, which is, Sometimes 235 and sometimes not. Here's what I want to show you guys. This is super important. Option one, you choose 144 inch diagonal screen. People keep saying how I'm making my image smaller by doing this. So this is a 144 inch diagonal screen. I'm only getting 114 inches out of my two th or out of my 16 by nine screen. That's all I can ever do. So I've got a 144 and that's great. But all I can ever do if I have that shape is a 114 for gaming, sports. I got big fat bars on the sides. And look, people keep saying this stuff. And I hate to say it this way, but it's just dumb. People keep saying, oh, well, then you just get a masking screen. Okay, well, then you should just get two Ferraris. Like the director series from Stuart Film Screen is $25,000. And it's probably gone up since I've viewed it last. So most want to max out the width. So you max out the width. I have a 144 inch screen. 235, but 153 diagonal. That is a nine inch difference between my 235 and my 16 by nine. If you go up here, I've got a 30 inch difference between my 16 by nine picture and my 235 image. In both scenarios, I have the exact same 235 image. So the logic tells me why the hell would I do a 235 screen when I'm making one of the two scenarios that much smaller. So the bottom line is, as I turn those lights off, no parlor tricks, I don't see those bars anymore. I'll go back here. 
and the menu's bigger. I mean, that was what I was talking about when I said there's a there's always problems. People are like, I don't think hitting a button is that big of a deal. You know what? Maybe it's not, right? That's first world problems. Maybe hitting a button is not that big of a deal. But the bottom line is, every time I would go to my Apple TV menu, unless I had my lens on, I had to shrink it down to see the whole menu or it was on the ceiling, um, that kind of thing with my other screen. So, you know, it just was stuff that... I just, it was annoying. And I'm like, why am I doing that? If I can just maximize, still get a big, big 235 screen um, image and maximize it. I mean, this is my, you know, ALR. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to look kind of like my eyeballs, but you know, this is my ALR slate screen with my eyes because cameras pick up a little more light. I actually don't see those bars even even as much as my camera does. And I don't think that's annoying. I look center image, I got a big image. I mean, I just don't get all the comments. I've got the same exact screen size. You know, and I've said it a million times. I have the same screen size as a 144. If I have a customer, it's like, I've got this much width. If the projector can go out to that width and I do not have a height image, I tell them to get a 16 by nine screen because it's not, it's not going to um, change their 235 experience. My 235 experience in here is phenomenal. I don't see the bars. They're fairly blacked out on the uh, on the uh, on this ALR screen. Um, you know, not as much as as velvet would be, but again, super expense. You know, in doing something like that, these bars do not bother me. They wouldn't most of my clients either. So that is why I am 100% telling people these days to go 16 by nine. Um, you know, you hit that menu, you're watching your 235 image, and without a lens. A compression lens, which is squeezing, squishing, stretching, you know, all this kind of stuff. Now I have to zoom it back down to memory two just to just to do my Apple TV menu um, and stuff like that. And it's just not it's just not worth it to me. I mean, I don't even know what this extra aspect ratio is, but you know, this is the second one. Oh look, the second one and the third one of one of the biggest movies are is not two thirty five. I mean, I'm not saying the majority aren't. Maybe the majority are. But if you can get the same 235 image, 144 diagonal, but I'm only making the experience larger when it either switches to this format, um, because this might be one of the ones that switches, when it switches to this format or uh, or video gaming or any other format. If I, just have to, if I could just leave it alone, let it go to give me my 144, which would be the same anyway, but then actually expand to what the director actually wants you to see, I think I'm right and you guys are wrong, so... Uh, feel free to comment. It doesn't matter to me. And uh, I'm just going to keep uh, congratulating the people that get the concept and uh, kind of make fun of the people that don't.